What's going on guys? Thank you so much for your love, support, and for tuning in to Soul Food Sunday. Only take the part that resonates. Leave the rest if you're interested in booking your own personal message. You can do that at the website, divinelyme.com. Don't forget we have your divine guidance for the week as well as your talk with God over at the website. So make sure you check that out. Also, we have our Halloween specials available up under the events section. Some of those messages are starting off at $35 all the way to $65, I believe. So make sure you guys check that out. Let's go ahead and get into this message. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you giving you thanks and praise for another day. Father God, we thank you for our friendships, our relationships, our sacred partnerships. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for protecting us, for liberating us from stress. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you will continuously protect us, mind, body, and soul, protecting our resources, protecting our family members. Father God, we ask that you will be a doctor to those who are in need. Father God, that you will be a counselor to those who need to be heard. Father God, we come before you and ask that you will be a protector for those who don't feel protected. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you will protect those who are going through a crisis. Father God, we ask that you will help those here who are going through the loss of a loved one. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day, for understanding, for wisdom and knowledge. In your son that we pray, amen and our shame. So when I was meditating for your message, I feel as if you guys could be dealing with individuals who may be emotionally scarred and you yourself may at times feel like you are emotionally scarred. I feel as if this could be a week where you guys are not responding to the drama. You refuse to respond to the drama. For some of you guys, you may literally be turning your devices off. You may not be responding to text messages, and if you are, you're only responding to certain individuals. I feel as if this is a time where you are learning to play the hand that life has dealt you. And everybody is dealt a different hand in life, but I feel as if you guys are mastering some of the challenges that you may have experienced. Somebody may also like to play cards. Somebody could have even been playing cards this weekend. Um, if you have been playing cards, I feel as if you may eventually cut off some of your friends. Hmm. Some of you guys are realizing that it's time for you to move how a boss moves. The top is lonely, but so is the bottom. I feel as if somebody may also want to apologize for not being there for you. And this could be growing up, this could be your childhood, or just not being able to be there for you in a time of need. Somebody is also going to receive a letter from the Housing Authority. This could even be surrounding Section 8, okay, or any type of assistance. I also feel as if New York, somebody is going to, is going to court, okay, North could be significant. Mm -hmm. I heard North Dallas. Okay, you're going to receive some type of recognition. You may have been skeptical when you entered into something. But I feel as if you're going to receive it. Whatever you were skeptical about. Okay, I do feel as if if you were in a leadership position, there's a need also for you to be creative. And this could also be being creative with staff members in order to get them to... Um, be more productive now i also feel as if some of you guys are needing to know when you are putting yourself even if this is um spirituality a job um, your morals at risk or even jeopardizing certain things um, for individuals who would not do the same for you okay don't put your life in jeopardy for someone else you could be seeing a series of eight. Somebody could be born in 87. 87, 87 is your spiritual number. Hmm. Okay, so you're going deeper into something that you may have learned. You may have learned 
how to do something. And it's like you are um, really studying this. You're wanting to learn more. You're really diving in. Okay, you're going to be surprised at something that you learn. This could be a skill that you have. Okay, you're going to learn something, but it's also whatever it is that you learn, whatever information that you have been reading, gravitating towards, or um, something that could have seemed challenging at first. I feel as if you're going to pick um, up a very unique way of doing something, and I feel as if it's going to help you to be very innovative when it comes to producing I hear productivity, producing something new. You may be very impulsive too. Um, the ideas could be coming like this. So make sure that you're writing things down. Very creative time for some of you guys. Okay, you could literally be pregnant or this could even be pregnant with ideas. Okay, and I do feel as if somebody is not wanting to say goodbye, but an individual can no longer fake a relationship the relationship is not working out for you or them but who's gonna be the first to say goodbye i feel like somebody is living a lie putting on a facade knowing that they don't want to do something or be somewhere but there is a sense of obligation okay you may feel like you have um, some type of responsibility or you have to hold on to something out of a um, sense of responsibility but this is the thing if this is a relationship or even a work situation somebody's already making plans to live without you to do something without you okay let's get into this message stop worrying about the situation how things are going to work out somebody is born in 72 Positive changes. Okay. Whatever is about to happen is outside of your control. Okay, somebody also, you're about to testify. Somebody could also be testifying, like in a court case. Hmm. But I feel like somebody's testifying about. This could be a life-changing experience that they may have had. Mm -hmm. What message do you have there, Heavenly Father? Okay, pure motives. Somebody is protecting themselves. Um, you're not sure of this person's motives. This person may have some pure motives. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Be careful of somebody trying to tempt you. Okay, Scorpio season is significant. You could even be dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. There's some type of transformation, okay? This is fated to happen. Yeah, somebody may try to come along and throw you off your path. But God is going to give you strength. You have the ability to come overcome whatever the temptation is. Whether it's food, whether it's a person. Okay. For some of you guys, this could be about being faithful to a decision that you have already made. And not allowing someone to tempt you. Because I feel as if um, this is a very strong temptation. This could even be an individual giving up certain behaviors. Vowing to let's say not smoke anymore okay not reach out to an ex I feel as if the temptation is going to be strong it could be a situation that triggers you that makes you want to um, smoke it may be a situation that triggers you you may end up seeing your ex mm -hmm. Somebody is thinking about themselves. 
somebody is putting themselves first. And that is what changes the dynamic of this situation. Okay, something about this situation has changed. October 13th is also significant. With the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. I feel as if somebody is struggling when it comes to identifying their beliefs in today's society because so much is transpiring and taking place. Somebody may be tempted by the things that they may see, the things that are going on around them, but I feel as if an individual... I feel like somebody is also being forgiven. Some grace is being extended to someone. But I feel as if this person, um, once they once they take a step back and do the inner healing. they're going to revert back to some traditional belief that they may have. It's like somebody may have been trying to be like the world, but someone is coming to the realization that they are not of the world. They're not willing to do um, carnal things. They don't want to deal with or be around situations that tempt them to rely on their old self. And not just rely on their old self, but somebody is not wanting to adapt to the environment around them. It's like their old self, how they may have operated in that environment um, may have been to give in to the temptation to not have self-control. Okay, so this is about self-control. This is also about you relying on God. Knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Hatred stirs up strife, but love overcomes all sins. Proverbs. Wisdom. Okay, so being wise when it comes to dealing with hateful people. You can see a mess from a mile away. Some of y'all may even start to realize how messy someone is or how hateful somebody may be. Somebody's trying to cover up something too cover up some type of behavior because it's going to cause some type of strife. Ten, ten. Double endings. Thirteen, thirteen. Angel number. I heard Care Bear. Somebody may um, like Care Bears. You could have had a Care Bear when you were younger. All tied up. Okay, so... Things can seem tied up. There's a need for you to be patient. Okay, around the 30th, some things may change. Oh, yeah, it's definitely some hostile energy, honey. Mm -hmm. Can start around the 26th. People are defensive. Okay, somebody's got to tie up some loose strings also. Somebody may want you to be patient with them. They got to take care of some stuff. Somebody's not sure whether or not they can trust a person. Somebody heard somebody say, what am I waiting for? 
okay, somebody feels like maybe they still have time. Somebody gonna be tying some stuff up, blue sins till 2023. Now, if somebody is going to court, somebody is trying to uh, get a continuance. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Be patient when it comes to God fully redeeming you. Mm -hmm. Be careful with thinking the grass is greener on the other side. Somebody could work out in their yard. Somebody is also keeping their distance from an individual who is hostile. Like, you stay over there, I'll stay over here. Okay, somebody could have a child, like, behind a gate. Could even be like a playpen. Somebody is observing individuals being very hostile in their behavior, being very cutthroat. Uh huh. One of y'all got a, a tattoo on your shoulder or your arm, top part of your arm. Mm -hmm. somebody is not sure whether or not they should approach an individual because they could feel like this individual um, is hostile A witch, a dance portal letting go. Mm -hmm. Some witch is letting go. This person has a curly or wavy hair. Somebody could have highlights in their hair. Somebody may also be using like some type of dropper. They could be giving some medicine to a child or somebody could also be utilizing like a dropper. Like putting something, this could even be like in food or something. Magic alignment. Okay, so you're being redeemed when it comes to some type of of magic. It could have been chaos too. Like chaos magic or something like that. You're a star seed. Mm-hmm. Somebody may like to dance. This person could have a W, a D, a P, or an M, first, middle, last, initial. Somebody lives in Massachusetts, too. Somebody lives in Portland. Chicago. Somebody also got an itch. That, that came up last week, didn't it? Okay. Somebody's hand could also be itching. Somebody may also cut the hair, okay, cut somebody's hair or their hair, but somebody could also cut their hand. 
It's gonna be like the palm. Somebody can't make no moves, can't do something. Be patient, somebody is letting go. Or they're going to have to let go. Because God is fully redeeming you. Somebody could wear a ring on their index finger or their middle finger. Somebody may also have henna on their hands. This person's been doing magic. Or either this person has cut the palm of their hand. Mm -hmm. hmm. This had you feeling hostile. Let's see what's going on. Somebody could be doing some tie-dye. You may also use Tide detergent as confirmation. Clarify which it's all tied up. Okay, certainty. Whoever this person is or this situation is, it's very significant. Okay, somebody was determined. Okay. Okay, somebody was certain that some type of performance. Okay, somebody thought that they had won. Somebody wants to win. Whoever this person is, they think very highly of themselves. Hmm. Was somebody trying to impact somebody's performance? If things are all tied up, can't nothing get through. Hmm. Who is this? Okay, let go. Be patient. Dance portal. Okay, so you're going to be happy. You're going to be dancing. Somebody about to let go of a situation. Okay, freedom. Okay, so you're free. Okay, was somebody certain that like some magic would work? Somebody named Danielle. Somebody got to let go of something. Somebody is mad. Deep down inside, you know... Okay, you can tell because this person is acting hateful and hostile. Some of y'all may be mad about something. Responsibility. Somebody is letting go of something that they feel responsible for. They no longer want the responsibility. Okay, pride. Okay. You need to be in alignment for something. You need to get ready for something. Somebody was dealing with some pride. 
Somebody may also need a ride at night. I heard Marilyn. You need to be prepared, be in alignment for something. Somebody's also real prideful. Okay, so you discipline. You know how to deal with hostile people, whoever this hostile individual is. Mm -hmm. Child, let's take a look. How the hell you get entangled with a witch? They were certain something was going to work. Where if I all tied up in which? Temperance. Dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. Ooh, honey. Somebody made a real powerful concoction. They were certain that that thing was going to work. Whoever this person is, they need to heal. Okay, it could be a Taurus. Somebody could have also, um, this, whoever this person is, they have very unconventional beliefs. They could have even went to a metaphysical store. Okay. An immature fire sign. Aries Leo, definitely Sag energy. Somebody was really waiting, too. They were trying to be patient. Really trying to tie some things up. This person felt like they outdid themselves. A Sagittarius is significant. Eight of Swords. Whoever this person is, they could have a history of... Uh, oh, Chad, I heard Satanism. Um, so I rebuke things. <laughs> she said, Satan, I rebuke <laughs> Um, This person could have went to jail or been in a mental hospital. This person has a victim mentality. Mm-hmm. Somebody be lashing out on pe the people closest to them. Mm-hmm. It's fated for this to happen. And it's fated for it to happen this way. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, somebody is jealous. Okay, you may be noticing cobwebs. Somebody's in a sticky situation. Somebody is emotional. Somebody is dealing with bad luck, bad karma. Mm -hmm. Cancer sign. Okay, somebody is not going nowhere. Somebody also could be having car issues. You could be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay, yeah, somebody is. <sighs> Things are out of control in somebody's life. Somebody is having issues with their vehicle. Somebody's not able to get out of a situation that they got themselves into. Mm -hmm. You may have recently saged. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, somebody was competing. Somebody could have been trying to compete for somebody's attention also. Somebody was using magic on their partner because whoever this person is was withdrawn. Somebody is in their head, too. 
end up getting it. I said somebody was going to court. Somebody is, um, somebody's facing jail time. Could even be dealing with a same sex relationship. This Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay. But not everybody. Hatred starts up strife. All right, booze, head over to the website if you guys are interested in seeing Uncut as well as VIP section. Love you. Bye.